What's good? What's good? We are back. Let's get our little banner thing going. It's your boy, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast. I'm back. It's like six in the morning, as you know. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird always gets the worm. And I'm an early bird. And I work smarter, not harder. You know how we do. You want this t-shirt, go to Newlitter Apparel at newlitter.com. You can buy a copy. Um, before we get started, don't forget I pre-record for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and the audio version goes to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Player FM, um, Podcast Addict, Pod Chaser, and much more. Also, hit that click now, subscribe button in the right-hand corner. If you're watching on YouTube, you're on Facebook, hit that like. Instagram, hit that follow. If you're watching me live on TikTok, hit that follow. I will follow you back. Also, after the live stream, I will follow anybody that was viewing the stream that I am not following currently. Um, don't forget my podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. If you need online marketing promotions for your music, your product, your brand, or your service, service, Please go to Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. Also, if you're a dog lover, a cat lover, and you like t-shirts or hoodies, or you like this t-shirt right here to work smarter, not harder, please check out newlitter.com. It's N-E-W-L-I-T-T-E-R.com. Most of the shirts on there are like cats and dogs t-shirts, but we also got a couple, um, you know, business slogans and other t-shirts like that as well. Anything that's going to be on a New Litter Apparel brand, Name will be under that. And for Shizzle, I got to shout out DizzleBrand.com. Step into the future. Do your Dizzle. DizzleBrand.com. Just add ice. Dizzle and ice. Check them out. You got a dozen recipes and whatnot. Um, first, we're going to get into last night's basketball game scores. And then I'm going to get over to my power, Paul's power picks. And we're now going to start doing... Um, the top five for the NBA, top five teams, and we're going to do top five players. And then we're also going to do top five NFL teams and top five quarterbacks. Um, last night, Milwaukee beat New York, of course. Would you expect? Do you expect anything else? Uh, Brooklyn beat Detroit. Dallas beat OKC. The Spurs beat the Pelicans, who are a disaster. Minnesota beat Portland. And the Lakers beat Orlando. And I'll, before I get into these power picks, I want to talk about we pull up this box score for this Minnesota. Minnesota on paper has one of the best starting fives in the NBA on paper. They just they need to get things together. Right now, their starting five is D'Angelo Russell and Patrick Beverly. I mean. You got a, a guy who can score and a guy who can defend. You got Carl Anthony Towns at center. Jared Vanderbilt at forward from Kentucky. And you got Anthony Edwards. I am just think Anthony Edwards, Patrick Beverly, D'Angelo Russell, and Carl Anthony Towns make for a good four in the start five. You know? And they should be – if they don't make the playoffs, it's an embarrassment. It's a disaster. If they don't make the playoffs, they need to move off from D'Angelo Russell. But I know um, Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns is a good one-two punch. Like, Anthony Edwards is everything that the Timberwolves were missing when they had Wiggins. He's everything Wiggins wasn't. Way more aggressive. Way more confident. I mean, just got more of a killer instinct. Like, Wiggins, for a number one pick, Never came close to having a, a killer instinct whatsoever. All right, so that was the game. Let me get into uh, Paul's power picks. Give me a second. I got to pull up this uh, image over here. Got that image pulled up. We got to go to screen sharing. We got to share screen. And bam. Share screen. All right. So let me get into my um. 
In fact, it's not showing up. Bear with me. Bear with me, people. All right, there we go. And you can't see it on the live because, you know, you got to do it on the stream, y'all. But uh, let me get into my top five power picks. Number one, we got the Suns. Nothing has really changed. I mean, the only change is going to be four and five. Number two, the Warriors. Number three, the Nets. And I'm going to tell you what, if the Nets get Kyrie Irving back, they're easily probably going to be the favorite. Number four, the Bucks, which probably will move up to anywhere in the top three slots by the time this year's over. And number five, the Bulls. That's the top five on the pause power picks right now for the NBA. Now let me pull up my um, power picks for my players. Power picks. One screen share here. And bam. Here we go. Number one, I got Curry. Steph Curry is the best player in the world right now. Steph Curry literally changed the game. Now every team makes every player on the team learn how to shoot threes down there. And if you can't shoot threes, it's like you can't play, which is bogus. You know, I understand they're changing the game, but this is the thing. Like, it's almost like teams were trying to find the next Steph Curry or another Steph Curry. They ain't another Steph Curry. They ain't a next Steph Curry. The closest thing is Clay Thompson, who's coming back, you know? So, number one, Curry. Number two, KD, Kevin Durant. That's my number two. Um, I mean, what's there to say? Seven foot, two guard, pretty much. Seven foot, small forward, who could just play. He could play point guard and just bring the ball up every single time and facilitate the offense if he had to. Number three, Giannis. Giannis is definitely number three right now. Um, a lot of people had Giannis as the best player in the world last year. Um, I, I wouldn't have went that far because he still got a couple things to work on to make him the best. But Giannis is number three. Number four, LeBron. Yeah, LeBron used to be number one. But he's fell down. He's went down. And to be honest with you, by next year, LeBron James might be at the top five. He might be at the top five next year. So I got Curry, number one, Durant, number two, Giannis, number three, LeBron, number four, and number five, of course, Jokic, the Joker. I mean, that's the top five players in the NBA. I mean, you could try to argue, you could try to debate, but Jokic just won MVP last year. LeBron's LeBron, Giannis champion last year, you know, KD, KD, Curry, Curry, I mean, uh, you know, and Harden, he's falling out. Harden could be at the top. Harden is literally not in the top 10 this year. He has fell out the top 10. And Dame Lillard has fell out the top 10. James Harden and Dame Lillard has fell out the top 10. You know, and that could be the game just catching up with them. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? All I know is that's my top five pause power picks NBA players. Number one, Curry, number two, Durant, number three, Giannis, number four, LeBron, and number five, Jokic. Yep. So let me get into these NFL scores. And we got tonight's Monday night game, which is Cardinals and Rams, and I actually picked the, the Rams. So we got uh, Vikings beat the Steelers. The Cowgirls beat the uh, Washington football team. Jaguars got waxed by the Titans. Who would have known? 
Who would have known the Jaguars got waxed by the Titans? I mean, I feel sorry for Trevor Lawrence over there. And I don't know, man, if he's looking like the short number one pick right now. I don't know that Trevor Lawrence will look like a short number one pick. Seahawks beat the Texans. Who would have knew? I mean, the Texans ain't got Deshaun Watson. They don't stand a chance of winning a single game. And what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson? I mean, this thing has played out the whole year. Deshaun Watson is is standing pat that he didn't do nothing. He's not settling. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Chiefs, oh my gosh, Chiefs look like the Chiefs of old, 48 to 9. I mean, the Chiefs demolished the Raiders. You know, they look like the Chiefs of, you know, last year, the year before. Saints waxed the Jets. Who wouldn't know? The Jets get, they get waxed for the last five years by everybody. Falcons beat the Patriots. Who would have picked? Yeah, I'm a Panthers fan, but I'm not one of those sports guys who always picks the Panthers to win every single week when I know they're going to lose. I mean, I'm not that dumb. I don't, like, that's the thing. I have to, I have to be sensible here. I have to use common, this is the Common Sense Podcast. I wouldn't be too common sense if I picked the Panthers every single week. Browns beat Ravens. I mean, I don't know anybody picked the Browns beating the Ravens. And the Browns could win the division, though. The Browns could win the division. If the Browns win the division, is a disaster for the Ravens. The Ravens, I don't know, man. It's just something is missing. Yes, Lamar Jackson is a good enough quarterback to get you in the playoffs every year. But is he good enough to get you over that hump? Over that hump? Nope. It's not good enough, man. You know? And for Baker Mayfield, I don't know if he... I don't know if Baker played... Let's pull this game up. Let's see if we can pull this game up. I don't know if Baker played. I didn't... I did not see if Baker played or if... Um, but we're about to find out if they can play real quick. And Baker did play. I mean, he had two touchdowns and an interception, but it, Ravens, Ravens, Ravens. I mean, this was their division to win this year, and they just they're starting to fall off. Chargers beat the Giants. Who would have known? Broncos beat the Lions. Who would have known? I mean, the Lions only won one game this year. Bengals got beat by the 49ers, which I definitely picked the Bengals over the 49ers. And the Bengals needed this game, man, because that's I forgot the Bengals are in that division. The Bengals could win this division, but they lost this game, so it doesn't go well. Buccaneers beat the Bills. Who would have picked? I mean, Tom Brady is – I think the Bills have literally only won, like, five or six games against Tom Brady in, like, 20 years. Think about that. Tom Brady owns the Bills, man. Packers beat the Bears. Who would have picked? Who would have knew? And, of course, you had Colts on the bye, Patriots on the bye, Dolphins on the bye, Eagles were on the bye. Patriots coming off on the bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And tonight's game is going to be the game of the week. Monday night game, the Rams versus the Cardinals. And um, now we're going to do Paul's power picks. Um, let's see. We got my the team one first. All right, here we go. Paul's power picks for the NFL. Number one, the Packers. I mean, not much has changed. Aaron Rodgers still doing Aaron Rodgers-like things. Packers still look like um, they'll probably be in the NFC Championship this year against the Cardinals or the Buccaneers. Number two, the Cardinals. I mean, they could fall out tonight. 
I mean, I got the Rams winning the game, but the Cardinals could fall out the night. But the Cardinals could win, and it could probably move up to number one. Who knows? Number three, Patriots. And they're coming off a bye week. Plenty of time to prepare. <sighs> Bill Belichick being Bill Belichick. Mac Brown looking like he should have went higher. Looking like the still of the draft right now. Um, especially seeing being how far we got to see how far the Patriots. If the Patriots get past the first round of the playoffs, Mac Jones is definitely is still the draft. Number four, the Buccaneers, and, and this could change. This could change because Chiefs bought out last week and they could move up, you know. But number five is the Chiefs, and that's my top five right now for Paul's power picks in the NFL: Packers, Cardinals. Patriots, Buccaneers, and Chiefs in that specific order. So now let's pull up this last one right here. Let's go to share. Share screen. Bam. And here we go. All right. And this is my top five quarterbacks for Paul's power picks in the NFL. Number one. Tom Brady, man, the GOAT. Tom Brady, the GOAT. I mean, even though I ain't got his team number one, I mean, he's probably going to win MVP this year. You know, so Tom Brady, number one. Number two, Aaron Rodgers, that bad man, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, what you want me to say, man, Brady and Rodgers, top two quarterbacks in the league still, without a doubt. Number three, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he's – you know, he's not past Brady and Rodgers just yet, but he's definitely third fiddle behind those guys. Number four, Justin Herbert, man. Justin Herbert is the new John Elway. The new John Elway. I mean, Justin Herbert, the Chargers are going to have a chance to go to the Super Bowl a lot of years because they're going to be in the playoffs a lot of years with Justin Herbert. And number five, Kyler Murray. Little guy, Kyle, Kyler Murray, man. I mean, Kyler Murray is doing it up for the little guys. Little guys like me, man. But that's my top five. Brady, Rodgers, Mahomes, Herbert, Murray. That specific order. All right, so let me get into this topic. Um, this... Uh, Top 30 players for Ben Simmons. Actually, before I get at Miles Turner wanting out for uh, the Pacers. Uh, apparently, he want he doesn't want to be a role player, but I don't know where he thinks he's gonna go. That he's gonna be a key, the key, like a second, a second or even third option. Like right now on the Pacers, he's probably the fourth or fifth option. I mean, maybe if he goes to, let's see, let's pull up these teams. I mean, what, if he goes to the Pistons? He's not even going to be, I mean, he might be a second option at the Pistons. But where's he really going to go that he's going to be a second or third option? I mean, the Pacers are the third worst team behind the Magic and the Pistons. So he's either going to go to the Magic or the Pistons, and that's it. You ain't going to the Pelicans. You got Valachunas. He goes to the Thunder. I mean, I don't know. Rockets? No, he ain't going to be the – no. Spurs, maybe? Maybe the Spurs. Spurs, Thunder. There's only like four teams you could go to and literally be the second and third option. So he's overselling his stocks like most NBA players do. Let's get into this list of they want a top 30 NBA player for Ben Simmons. Like, there's no way. I mean, I'm going to go over the top 50. We're going to go to the through the top 30 one by one. And, like, ask, I'm going to ask myself, would I trade Ben Simmons for this player? And, I mean, you're probably not going to get down to the – you're probably going to get, like, maybe a top 
50 player, but that's it. I mean, you know, ain't nobody in the top. Like this, or, this specific, you know, we're going to go off of their, their order. It, it's not really probably, I don't agree with this order, but they got Giannis number one. You're definitely not trading Giannis for no damn Ben Simmons. LeBron number two for Ben Simmons. Hell no. Curry for Ben Simmons. Hell to the no. Durant. Hell to the no. Joker, hell to the no. Luca, hell to the no. Joel Embiid, hell to the no. Of course, you can't trade him for Joel Embiid, but still, you wouldn't. Kawhi Leonard, hell to the no. Would I trade Ben Simmons for Trey Young? Hell no. I would not get rid of Trey Young from. And Trey Young might be a little too high. Chris Paul, hell no. Devin Booker, hell no, I'm not giving up Devin Booker for no Ben Simmons. Bradley Bill for Ben Simmons, hell no. Jimmy Butler, I'm not giving him up. Paul George, I'm not giving him up. James Harden, um, I'm not giving him up. Even though James Harden is, is Damon Lillard, I'm not giving him up. Even though they kind of fell out the top 10 and they, they got them 15 to 16, which is probably a good place for them. Jason Tatum, hell no, I'm not giving up Jason Tatum for Ben Simmons. Donovan Mitchell, I'm not giving him up, and I would have him a lot higher. Donovan Mitchell is better than James Harden and David Lillard right now. I'm not giving up Julius Randle for Ben Simmons. I'm not giving up Anthony Davis for Ben Simmons. I'm not giving up Bam Adebayo for Ben Simmons. I'm not giving up Zach Levine for Ben Simmons. I'm not giving up Jalen Brown for Ben Simmons. I'm not giving up Devonis Sabonis for Ben Simmons. Um, Nikola Vucevic. I'm not giving them up, even though they, it wouldn't work. Sure as hell not giving up John Morant. John Morant is way too low. John Morant is top 15, without a doubt. They got him 26. When I give up Chris Middleton for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. When I give up Rudy Gobert for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. LaMelo Ball for Ben Simmons, not a chance in hell. LaMelo Ball is better than Ben Simmons. Number 30, Kyrie Irving. Hell to the no, I'm not giving up. Zion, I'm not giving him up. Clay Thompson for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. Jamal Murray for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. Russell Westbrook for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. Ben, just off of Russell Westbrook's ferociousness, would I give up Drew Holiday for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. Would I give up Brandon Ingram for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. Draymond Green for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. C.J. McCollum for Ben Simmons, hell to the no. I wouldn't do it. DeMar DeRozan, hell to the no. DeMar DeRozan is way too low. They got him at 39. DeMar DeRozan is easily a top 20 player this year. Easily a top 20 player this year. But I give up Malcolm Brogdon from Ben Simmons. I mean, That might be it. That might be the deal right there. Malcolm Brogdon for Ben Simmons. For the Sixers, it'd be good to have Malcolm Brogdon coming back. A backcourt with Mal Malcolm Brogdon and Steph Curry and Danny Green at small forward and Tobias Harris at power forward and Joel B. That is a nice starting five. Malcolm Brogdon, Danny Green, Seth Curry, and actually, you could put my, my, Malcolm Brogdon at two guard or Tyrese Maxey at two guard. But that's probably it right there. Would I trade De'Aaron Fox for Ben Simmons? I don't think I would. Carl Anthony Towns, hell no. Ben Simmons, they got him 43rd on here. But I give up Shea Gillis Alexander for Ben Simmons. Hell to the no. Miles Bridges for Ben Simmons. The way Miles Bridges is playing this year, hell to the no. Pascal Siakam. I mean, that could be the deal right now. Pascal Siakam is not really balling out like I thought. And he definitely can't be the number one guy. I mean, he can't be your number one guy. He's got to be like your number two or your three option. Maybe when I give up Kyle Lowry for Ben Simmons. Maybe in two years, but not right now. Christian Wood for Ben Simmons. Hell to the no. 
Gordon Hayward for Ben Simmons, I would do that. I would do that all day. See, Jeremy Grant for Ben Simmons, maybe, maybe. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, you might get a anywhere from a you might get a top 40, a top 50 player for Ben Simmons. You're not getting top 30. No way, no how. All right, let me get to this last little topic. Uh, apparently, a lot of people going in on fresher fraud. I mean, fresher fit again. Because they, they're doing all these copyright claims, going after these channels, trying to get these channels shut down. They got their lawyer going after these channels. And what's funny is... YouTube is apparently seen right through Fresh and Fraud's fraud of trying to do these copyright claims, which they're fraudulent claims. They're fraudulent claims. So apparently the YouTube has told them that you either remove all these claims or Fresh and Fit could have their channel removed in seven days. See, when you're a channel like this, so I'm a little guy. So people are going at me. You know, I, I'm still a little guy. I still, I gotta go back. I gotta, I gotta, I still gotta get big. But when you're a big channel like that, like Fresh and Fit, why would you even entertain? Like, yes, somebody called you out, but the fact that you entertained it made it even worse. The best thing to do in these kind of situations is just keep making content, keep it moving, keep doing what you do. Cause once you give all this energy to, to this specific thing, people start to question your credibility. I mean, cause now it's right now, it's just really what's going on is fresh and fits in a feelings. They all need feelings. They got these egos, you know, they think they shit don't stink. Everybody shit stinks. They think they shit don't stink. Everybody shit stinks. They got their ego, their head's too big for their britches. They've been caught out because there are some fraudulent things about them. I'm not saying everything about Fresh and Fit is fraudulent, but they've been caught out, caught out on fraudulent things because they've, there's some things fraudulent, you know. One half of Fresh and Fit is definitely a fraud. Definitely not an alpha male. He's a beta male. He can talk all that smack he wants. It's BS. It's fairy tales made up. It's all for the sake of the show. And the fact that, you know, I think what really made it bad is they both posed as alpha males. And one is definitely a beta. And when you watch the show, you tell who the alpha of the show is and who the beta of the show is. So what and, and and the alpha is sticking up for the beta like he's an alpha. That's where they went wrong. That is really what's going on here. They went wrong because there's an alpha of the show. And a beta. And I'm not even saying the alpha of the show is an alpha male. I'm just saying he's the alpha of the show. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle looking guy is the beta. And he's not, he's the beta male and the beta of the show. And the alpha male is pawning him off as an alpha too. So they look like they're two alpha males on the show when they're not. They're one alpha and one beta. For the show, you know, so that's where it went wrong. And then they get their feelings, and now you're making these false claims. If they got their channel removed, I mean, like literally, there'll be a lot of people. I know Abba Preach will be like, they will be laughing up a storm about this. They will be doing a video, going in laughing up a storm, and and do right. Like if if Fresh and Fit got their channel removed because this. It's what they get, man. It's what you deserve. I mean, you like the customers that come to us. They pay for promotions. They wait till the services are done, and they file fraudulent chargeback claims. Of course, I fixed all of that now because if you want to pay me for promo, you go to Venmo, Cash App, or Zelle, or you could go to hell. 
I repeat, you're going to Venmo, Cash App, or Zelle, or you're going to go to hell. It's just so funny how that just happened to rhyme. You know, me being the rapper guy that I am. Paul Pickett, a.k.a. Paul Masson. I know you heard of me. But, um, yeah, just the less than the fresh and fit. Just keep it moving, man. What you're messing up is you're entertaining this. You're, you're, you're feeding into being caught out as a fraud. And you should have just kept it moving. You would have saved so much more face if you would have just kept it moving and wouldn't have retaliate all in your feelings, especially when y'all first called out Abba and Preach. Because this is where it really stemmed from. It stemmed from Abba and Preach calling him out. And then a lot of other channels started reacting to Abba and Preach calling him out. So then all these channels started going in on Fresh and Fit. All these channels, even channels that they were, they, they were friends with and stuff, started going in on them because... This is the thing as content creators, we're not going to sit there and lie when we create content just to save your face, just so you don't look bad. We're not going to sit there and lie in our content. We're going to create content. We're going to be truthful and honest. Well, not all of us, but the ones that are honest, the honest content creators, whether you're their best buddy or not, they're going to react and they're going to comment on hot topics and they're going to be truthful whether you look bad or not and then comment and they're not gonna you know why should somebody have to lie in their content just so you look good no man if you look like a fraud if you look like fresh and fraud then you get caught out for being fresh and fraud and that's what's going on they're not fresh and fit they're fresh and fraud um both of them are not alpha males. We know that for sure. We know for sure that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy is not an alpha male. He's a beta. He's not even an alpha on the show. If you're not even an alpha on the show, how are you going to be an alpha male? I mean, this is my show. I, I do this show by myself. I am the alpha. I am the man for this show. I run the show. And I don't need no script for my topics. I freestyle all my topics. I write them on a little piece of paper. Just write my little titles, and I go from there, man. You know? And some topics can be topics that might offend people or get set. They might be sensitive, you know? But this is the thing. Once again, I'm not going to lie just because you're sensitive. I'm not going to lie just because you're offended. I'm going to use common sense, common knowledge, and I'm going to use honesty every time, you know? So being honest with Fresh and Fit is, yo, dude, don't even, y'all, y'all need to stop replying to this. Y'all need to just keep it moving because the more y'all keep replying and the more y'all keep doing, the more y'all losing credibility. Y'all really losing credibility even more now, now that everybody's coming out and doing these videos like you got the lawyer, the lawyer guy um, came out with a video. He said he got 10 claims. Iba Preach got 20 copyright claims. Other channels that Iba Preach said they were in touch with contacted him and said they got copyright claims. So y'all, y'all basically trying to copyright claim and shut down every little video of every channel that y'all got y'all little feelings hurt, man. That ain't an alpha male. That ain't an alpha male, man. That's a little bitch ass motherfucker right there. That's a bitch ass dudes. Some bitch ass dudes right there, man. That y'all sitting there gotta do copyright claims against everybody because you got your feelings hurt. And and you're losing subscribers, probably you losing views, you losing credibility, you losing a lot, you know, and your feelings is getting hurt, and you're looking bad. And you're looking lame in front of all those fine chicks y'all bring up on the on the show. Maybe y'all might need to start bringing some average chicks on the show so you won't so y'all start looking better. But you're looking fine and lame and lost all credibility. You know, the only reason y'all still gonna keep a show, probably keep traffic going, is because y'all bring these fine, dumb, lack of common sense, non-reality living gold diggers onto the show that you, you bring all these women on the show that 
these non-traditional women that are looking for a traditional man like dummies, traditional men don't date non-traditional women, you freaking idiots. Traditional men date traditional women. Non-traditional men date non-traditional women. That's why this is the Common Sense Podcast, because a lot of y'all ain't got common sense out there. A lot of y'all women ain't got common sense out there to think that a traditional man is looking for a non-traditional woman. No, a traditional man is looking for a traditional woman. Jackasses. But yeah, fresh and fit. That's the only reason they show be popular is because they bring on chicks that ain't got no common sense, that are delusional, that don't live in reality, and they basically call them out, put them in a place, and bring them back down to earth. But once somebody puts fresh and fraud in a place, <laughs> we got to do copyright claims, man. We got to do something, man. We got a copyright claim that gets out of preaching to everybody else, man. Because, you know, if not, man, we're going to keep losing subscribers, views, credibility. And number one of all, our feelings are hurt. You know, oh, man, get over it. People are too damn sensitive in this world nowadays, man. My father committed suicide when I was five years old, and our apartment burnt down two weeks before Christmas the same damn year. Get over it. Get over it, man. Well, I mean, if I'm not sensitive, why the hell are the rest of y'all sensitive? My father committed suicide when I was five years old. I've never met him, never seen his face to remember. Partly burned down two weeks before Christmas. That's a rougher year than most of y'all have had in your whole lifetime. That's one rough year. You can add up your whole lifetime and most of y'all ain't had, a, that had it that rough your whole lifetime. And I ain't being sensitive. You know? I'm manning up because you can't dwell on it forever. Can't cry about it forever. So fresh and fraud, I mean fresh and fit, stop crying, you know, just get a box of tissue, keep it moving, keep creating content, you know, because the more you keep buying into it, the more y'all keep doing what y'all do, y'all lose credibility. I mean, y'all called Albert Preacher's, like you called uh, Preacher's wife out, somebody his wife, it looks like a well, like dude, man, um, there's people that killed you over that. I know people that have killed you over there talking about their wife. And, and especially on like to hundreds of thousands of people, you shit talking to them about their wife. Yeah, man, that's that's more than fighting words for some people. That's put a bullet in your ass words, man. You don't fuck with nobody's family, man. Yeah, I mean, you don't fuck with nobody's family, man. That's like you asking for it, man. You asking for it when you fuck with somebody's family. Fresh and fit, I mean, fresh and fraud crossed the line on that. They crossed the line by posing as two alpha males and definitely one is a beta. You know? And I ain't saying I'm an alpha male with the women. I'm saying I'm an alpha male in the business world. I'm self employed, I'm single. I do everything myself. I market my business myself. I process my orders myself. I do customer service myself. I do everything on my podcast myself. I do the recording. I do the editing. I do the uploading. I do the advertising. Everything myself. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. My name is Paul Pickett. This is the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast. AKA Triple P, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. Don't forget the audio version of my podcast goes to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Slacker, Stitcher, Player FM, iHeartRadio, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, and much more. Also, the video version goes to YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram TV. Please hit the subscribe, like, and follow on us platforms. Also, if you're watching me on TikTok Live, which is about Six something in the morning, early bird gets the worm. Um, follow me on TikTok. I will follow you back. And also, after the live stream, anybody else watching the live stream that it shows I'm not following, I will follow.
Don't forget this podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. Excuse me. Got hiccups. In your online marketing promotions for your music, your product, your brand, or your service, check out promopalace.biz. Also, if you're a dog lover, a cat lover, animal lover, animal rights activist, you like t-shirts and hoodies, check out New Little Apparel at newlittle.com. We also got the Work Smarter, Not Harder t-shirt also available, as well as some other t-shirts with business slogans as well. And for Shizzle, last but not least, I got to shout out DizzleBrand.com. It's DizzleBrand.com. Do your Dizzle. Step into the future. Just add ice. Dizzle on ice. DizzleBrand.com. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. My name is Paul Pickett. This is the Paul Pickett Podcast. This is episode 87. 13 more to go. We're going to do that press release. Get that press release written up. Release that press release and run the ad for a hundredth episode of the Paul Pickett Podcast. Thank you, peace, and I'm out.